Well, would you look at that? The Suron's getting a little dirty and so is the rear shock. We're gonna do something about that today. Hello viewers, welcome back. Today I got here my 2023 Suron Light VX. Now I'm gonna be installing the rear mud flap. So let's get to it. Yeah, that looks a little better. I like that. A link for this kit will be in the description below. Let's get to the install. Here we go. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the two 8mm nuts holding on the license plate and the tail light. And then there's one 8mm nut holding on the rear mud guard and a 3mm Allen key on the other side. For the mud flap, they give you these clips here. I don't really like them, they seem kind of cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these automotive style clips here. The clips that come with the kit, you just push in the center to expand them. If you do use them. I've inserted the clips in the bottom of the mud flap already. I'm gonna install the top to the tail light bracket. Make sure the Suron symbol is facing the rear tire. Tighten and snug the nuts up, but don't over tighten them or you'll pull them out the back side of the light. Now we're gonna drop the bottom through between the swing arm and the tire and wrap it around towards the front side. From the underside of the bike, I've gone ahead and pushed the clips into place. There are two sets of holes Go with the rear holes. Now I just need to install the support bar here with the three mil bolt that came in the kit and the stock nut. Once you have it all installed, here's how it should look. Nice and clean, support bar in place. Make sure the smooth side is facing the mud flap, wraps under, nice and tight. Yeah, I think that'll do a better job of blocking the mud. Oh yeah, can't even see the rear shock. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click up here to check out the next video. Also, check out the merch store. This has been my rear mud flap install on the Suron Light BX. Ride safe.